नमो तस्सा भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धसा नमो तस्सा भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धसा नमो तस्सा भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धसा गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन टुडे वी शैल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑन रुपना इन डिटेल because uh, last time we uh, yesterday we mainly discussed about uh, what is the characteristic of a rupa characteristic of a rupa and why the buddha defined it something with the name rupa because uh, it's uh, something that changes when being uh, contacted or when being struck uh, by some other rupas so we we discussed uh, we pointed out about three possible changes that occur uh, in a material body when contacted by another type of a rupa uh, and that that change was the reason for the buddha to define this uh, material element uh, with the name rupa nama also undergoes some change but it doesn't fit to be called rupa and we shall discuss about this at the end of today's lecture now uh, if i remind uh, what we have now try to start for today's lecture so far we know that uh, rupa and we are also discussing about rupana rupana is a change rupana means the change which occurs in material bodies or material things as the material things undergo this change we call it rupana we call it rupa so we discuss about three types of rupana first is kala pabhantara the change inside a kalapa a change which happens inside a kalapa then a change which happens in the generation the change in the generation then we also talked about into the change into unit change i better use that word because i had a suggestion better to say rather than say into unitary into unit into kalapa otherwise into kalapa or into unit unit is uh, a kalapa change change which happens in between kalapas so our focus today will be on these two because how to what are the opinions of the uh, of the scholars within theravada about this change about this rupana now if i draw this this these two changes now think about the rupa which arises and passes away when it happens in generations a certain other rupa strikes at it right a rupa strikes at it so what is the generational change santati rupana means after the striking after the striking this striking causes an as the new rupas to happen in a different quality it it has changed so santati rupana means visadisa rupa uppati a rising of different rupas a rising of different rupas it's sort of an abstract meaning it's something happening so in that sense you cannot show where the rupana where the change is change is always com- um, compa- with comparison you, you we we look into the previous rupa number 1 rupa and then we look into the number 2 rupa if you if you if you name this as number 1 number 1 and this as number 2 we can see 1 and 2 are not similar 1 and 2 are not similar they are never the same that's for sure but e- even they are not similar so my idea was similar similarity i don't know how to use the word, uh, the, uh, the sign for similarity so they are not similar then 
that is the moment uh, the change which happens in generations now the change which occurs within the kalapa means after the striking after the striking a certain change occurs within the kalapa occurs within the kalapa this is the difference of these two types of changes then according to some scholars this change causes the new rupa to happen in a different manner causes the new rupa to happen in a different manner right so these are the now interunitary like the intercalapa change we don't see in the text that's something that we brought newly uh, idea uh, based on some information found in the text it's not explicitly mentioned then now these are the two now we are going to discuss about these two changes so change uh, i'll better name it this is the change one change one here and this is the change two not the rupa the change first change is the change which happens within the kalapa second change which happens which can be seen in the within the generations so now normally within the literature within the commentarial literature rupana is said to be visadisa rupati rupana is visadisa rupa upatti normally you find it rupa upatti uh, making them a sandhi in the text visadisa means dissimilar arising of dissimilar rupas dissimilar kalapas means rupana so what does this mean out of the two types of changes this indicates or this refers to the change which happens in the generation that is santati rupana this is the normal prevailing idea within the theravada tradition this is a normal prevailing idea so if you ask some some person who has studied roughly studied the theravada doctrine they would say change which happens within a generation why do they emphasize on this that's another important factor why do they emphasize on this matter now we know the, the when when rupa is exposed to certain conditions such as the hard hard surface now for example if you think about a hard body i'm not talking about hardness a hard body after being exposed to certain uh, material like like heat and so forth what happens this hard body changes into a liquid changes into a liquid so we can see a real obvious change or transformation of the material body one state for, from one state to another state of the material body states have changed changed now if this idea was not emphasized what happens is there can be a wrong or misinterpretation mentioning that the rupas do change during their existence for example a hard body the same rupas while they were existing they could change into a liquid form so it means it's sort of an uh, parinama parinama means a transformation so one could think the same hard stuff that was existing with the within the body have changed into more liquid sort of nature so in that sense the same so the wrong idea that can happen is now the same rupa changes into a different form a different different quality so according to the theravadians according to theravadians this idea is wrong so what they are referring is even during this change a hard body becoming a liquid hard body becoming a liquid what has happened is when rupas arising when this rupas were struck by uh, some other rupas they arise and pass away naturally but the newly arising rupa has a different nature right so it shows that there's no transformation of the particular rupa which got the contact the change is seen in the newly arising rupas in the newly arising rupas a similar approach can be seen with regard to nirvana with regard to nirvana so sometimes we may see think that the nirvana is the ending of the process of arahant 
some may see it like that. The Nama Rupa ends at the Paranirvana. But actually, according to Buddhism, what is happening is in Nirvana, a new Nama Rupa is not occurring. Instead of saying the process stopped, Buddhism emphasizes no new arising. One may see that there is no difference in it, no difference in it. But that is the that is the main difference between one of the main differences about Ucheda and Anupana. Anupada. Ucheda and Anupada. Ucheda talks about the destruction of something that is existing. Anupada. Anupada is the non-arising. If you look into Nirvana, Buddha was always referring the word to the word Anupada. So, if someone has said that the Arahant gets destructed, Ucheda, he didn't prefer this explanation. Ultimately, that is true. The process has stopped. But we have to keep in mind, during the process, each and every moment, Nama Rupa is arising and passing, and this passing away, even the last passing away of the last Chitta is natural, because it has already happened in the, in the entire process. We are not going to say that this is a Ucheda for each and every mind moment. So it was a natural process that happens. But the thing was, even though after, after the Nama Rupas have passed away in under normal circumstances, new Nama Rupas had occurred. They had occurred. And they have been occurring. So what is happening at the end of, at, at the end of Parinirvana, a new Nama Rupa is not arising. A new Nama Rupa is not arising. A similar approach, this is a similar sort of approach. Now, what I want to mention is, when explaining Nirvana, he's not talking about the destruction of a process, he's talking about a non-arising of a new reality. That would have arisen otherwise. That would have arisen otherwise. So that's why the Anupanna Dhammas comes into the context. That is why in Theravada, uh, while we are understanding the ultimacy, Anupanna realities play a huge role. And that's why the commentators have emphasized on this very much. Now in this process even, in the Rupana process even, we can say a rupa transforms into another form or into another, another, another state, or either we can say the rupas naturally passes away, but the newly arising rupas comes appears differently from the previous ones. So the commentators, what they want to emphasize is, they want to emphasize this is not a parinama vada. Parinama vada means normally in Sinhalese we use it for the evolution theory of evolution. There is no evolution of rupa. There is no transformation of a rupa into another state. But in some, some doctrines, some religious doctrines, they would say rupa, now the, the same milk that has become the ghee. Even in science, we normally say the electrons that we have today originated from the Big Bang. And sometimes they do undergo changes. They do undergo some, some electrons may change into photons and so forth during, uh, while they are clashing with some other some other particles. So it's a transformation due to the uh, increasing or decreasing of energy. And there's a completely different philosophy is there. So explanation is there. Now uh, it denies the explanation. Normally uh, doctrines closer to Hinduism, they would say, not exactly, I'm not sure to say whether it's exactly Hinduism. Some doc uh, doctrines which are closer to Hinduism would say that the Rupa is undergoing a transformation, a change. But according to Theravada, the rupa that existed, rupa that had a material body that had hardness, would not form come into uh, liquid with the same kalapas, with the same kalapas. While the new kalapas are appearing, they manifest different qualities. That is the explanation. That's why the commentators have greatly, highly emphasized on this visadisa rupapati. Right, this is a rupapati. Now, how this change happens? Now, it's another logical question. How this change happens? What is the cause for this? Now, during this clash, during this contact, it is very obvious. If the generation is changing, there has to be some sort of a change in this rupa which had the contact, which was struck. It's it's a very very logical uh, way of thinking. It's a very logical way of thinking. So. Some scholars have come into the explanation, have come into this explanation based on a definition given in the Nidhesapal. 
based on the definition given in the Nidhisama. Now it becomes very interesting now. Now this is the normal explanation given by the commentators. Now the Nidhisapali, there is a uh, stanza Salla Vidhova Rupati. This is explaining about uh, the change, the mental and physical changes which occurs in a person who loses something he desires or who doesn't gain something he wants. If he doesn't, if he doesn't attain what we want or if we lose something we adore or we, we already have, surely our minds come into sadness. It falls into sorrow, uh, sorrowness. Then, then it's sorrow and, and, and surely some bodily uh, reaction sensations would also occur. Now, Salla Vidhova Rupati, the word Rupati is found in, in sutras. The Nidhesapa, in, 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 in Sutta Nipata you find this. In the Nidhesapali, Nidhesapasi is sort of a commentary to the Sutta Nipata. Rupati has been explained in three words. Kuppati, I shall take some space. Rupati. Rupati, ah, sorry. Rupati has been explained with three words Kupati, then Gatiyati, Piliyati, and Bijati. Bijati. These are the three terms, four terms that have been used to explain Rupati. So, some scholars have taken this. Even the commentators have uh, have uh, emphasized on this. How, venerable Lady Sayadu, the prominent scholar in Myanmar, has explained this. Kupati. Now he wants to mention Gatiyati and Piliyati, and then we get. Kuppati and Bijati. Gatiyati and Piliyati are very obvious. Gatiyati and Gatiyati is the passive verb of striking. So I strike at something else, the passive sense, it is being struck by me. The struck, being struck. So if I strike this pen with my finger, I strike the pen with my finger. The pen is struck by my finger or by, 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 by myself. So that is the meaning of gatiyati, having a contact, the one who receives the contact. Then piliyati, oppressing, sort of tormenting, giving some pressure, disturbing something. So if I torment this, if I press this, if I bring now, it's better to say rather than tormenting a, tormenting a uh, pen in English, you would say I torment a certain creature. If there was a bunny or a rabbit here, I would torment it. I would just, a kitten, I would play with it or bring some hardship to it. So at that time, I, I torment the kitten or the bunny. The kitten or the bunny is being tormented by me. So it's the passive voice. Now, piliyati means being tormented. Gattiyati. Piliyati. So this refers to the striking. Not, I'm just referring to the verb, the striking. In the grammatical sense, it refers to the it refers to the object that has been struck, being struck. Kuppati and bijati. Kuppati and bijati. According to Ricardo, is the change. Kuppati refers to kobet, kubati. 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 Right? Kubati. Kubati means sort of a, uh, how should I say it? Sort of a, a disruption or some sort of a, uh, now something was properly functioning, but uh, suddenly uh, a change happens in, in, in that. The, the equilibrium is equilibrium is interrupted, we can call. So I'll give you a proper translation for this. Uh, Kubati. No, it doesn't have part of 
is doubtful. Second part of Ingala. Okay. Kubati. It 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 it's something now. Something has been prevailing in a good state, a normal state, equilibrium. It it is disrupted. Something, some some sort of a distortion has happened. So all these nouns are referring, like what happens to the object. Kupati means the rupa due to the striking. Due to the striking, the rupa changes. There's a slight change happening within the rupa. A slight change happening within the rupa. So kupati, bijati. Also, Lady Sayadaw wants to say it's a sort of a change which is happening in the rupa. So these two. These two words is referring to change within the kalapa. Within the kalapa. Change within the kalapa. Why did this change happen? Why did this change happen? Due to the striking. Due to the strike, why did this change happen? Due to the strike. Please keep this in mind. Striking was very vital. If there was no striking, if there was no contact, that true change would not have occurred. Then he moves on to say, based on Mulatika, this this similar explanation can be found in Mulatika and Anutika as well. I didn't quote it because Lady Sayadaw was very clear about it. If we went into the Mulatika explanation. Sometimes it's quite difficult to understand. That's the nature of Mulatika. Actually, it's it's quite difficult to understand. So within now change within the kalapa, change within the kalapa, with the term bijati, with the term bijati, shall write it properly. Change within the within the kalapa. Now with regard to bijati. He also mentions that when this rupa that was struck, that was struck by some other rupa, and that had a slight slight change within it. When it passes away, when it after it passes away, it causes the new generation to be of to be of a different nature, a new generation to be of different nature. Because now the question can come now rupa during its existence. Arises, arouses new rupa, right? So these rupas. Now, if the rupa was struck by something, the new rupa would occur. New rupas would occur. Now, one can ask the question: Actual change happens while the rupa is still existing, because unlike chitta, chitta is obvious. Now, another chitta to happen, the previous chitta has to pass away. But in rupa, especially in utuja rupas, this is now not how it happens. While the previous rupas are still prevailing, the new rupas are happening. That's we know. It's a very basic fundamental of the Theravadians. So why does it say that the, the change happens? Now, with the word rup bijati, he refers that. A change happens in new rupa after the passing of the previous one. Even the even Mura Tika says that the passing of the previous rupa causes the happening of the new rupas differently. So he is referring to the generational change as well. Please keep in mind. So with the term bijati, he refers to both the changes within the kalapa and also the generational change. So if you remember, this is these are the two 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 aspects. The change within the kalapa and the change which occurs in the generation. So, kupati only refers mainly kupati refers mainly it refers to the change within the kalapa, but bijati indicates the change within the kalapa and also within the generation. I'll just draw it with a sign. The new rupa is happening with a different different format or different quality, right? So bijati indicates both. Bijati indicates both. Now, according to this, there are three aspects. Striking is vital. A change within the kalapa was vital, and also a change within the generation was important. The commentary was mainly emphasizing on this change, generational change, generational change. Visa disa rupa pati. But there is a, there is an adjective close here. Sita unhadi samagami. That's also we need to emphasize. Sita. Unhadi samagami. 
the gathering of Sita and Unha, this change happens, right? The gathering while while heat and coldness, when it is surrounding or it's affected, the rupa is affected by this. This change happens. This change happens, right? It doesn't emphasize about a contact. It doesn't emphasize about a contact. But when you look into the definition, gatti yati pili yati, it seems like the contact was vital. Seems like the contact was vital. Anyway, the emphasis was mainly due to the conditions, new rupas are occurring in a different way. A change is happening in the generation. Now here, striking was given attention, uh, emphasis, change and within the Kalapa and also change within the generation. Now a question can come, why the Bijati was emphasized? Now, we say the different rupas happen, rupas happen differently, why the previous rupas have passed away? So personally what I feel is, now it is true that the new rupas are occurring while the past rupas, the old rupas are still present, but actual, actually the obvious difference can be seen after few generations. Now after, after the previous rupas have completely passed away, now think about, think how we see the object, the rupa sarira after here, after this moment. After this moment, what we have is, now think about this is the hard rupas, these are more liquid type. Now, when we want to see the actual difference, it becomes prominent to us after these rupas have passed away. After these rupas, because while, while both are present, still the hard surface was there and some part was liquid. Now, after they have passed away, it's obvious that they are completely, now we can see the liquid nature very clearly. Maybe that was the reason why they were emphasizing on this passing away. Or maybe during their process of passing away, this change happened. But that's how I feel. The passing away of the previous rupa is vital for us to see the real actual change, right? Actual change. Then, now we move on to this explanation, sorry. Yeah. Kuppati, Gattiyati, Piliyati and Bijati. Hmm? So this is how Mulatika, Anutika and Lady Seado all explains about this change. Now in the Diganikaya Tika, in the Diganikaya Tika, I shall give you the page DT, book number 3, Patika Vagga 172. If you can go into this at the moment, very useful. Uh, I need to give, give me some time. Mm. In the Sangeeti Sutta, uh, sub-commentary of Sangeeti Sutta, we can find few explanations, few definitions held by some scholars in the ancient Theravada tradition, held by some scholar. So, uh, so I shall write these two sentences. Yo attano santane vijyamana seva. Atano Santani Vija Manaseva Visadisa Rupu Patti He to Bavo. This is the Rupana according to Kechi. Some. Some scholars held to the idea that uh, Rupa, the Rupana is the. Now, if you look into this sentence, you can see. Look into this sentence. Yo Atano Santane Vijamana Se Visadis Rupati Hetubav. Visadis Rupati Hetubav means. The reason for the arising of different rupas, visadisa upatti hetubhav, or the reason. That reason can be found in the vijjamana seva, in something that is already existing. Something that is already existing. Attano santane. Attano santane means in its own, uh, own thing, in its own uh, surface, so in, in, in itself. Alright, Attano Santane, Vijamana Seva. 
visadasa uppatti hetu bhavo. So what does this mean? Now if you think about the change which happened, change which happened within the Kalapa due to the striking, we go into that. The change which occurred due to the striking, while it was existing, the striking contact happens and there is a slight change. This change is the reason for the arising of a new Rupa in a different way. That was the, that was the reason. So, Visadisa Uppatti Hetuva. Visadisa Uppatti means arising of Rupa in a different quality. What was the reason? That reason either has to be the previous Rupa which was struck by some other Rupa or this contact, this contact or some sort of a change which is happening within that Rupa. Some sort of a change which is happening within that Rupa. So it means, it seems like the Kechi, some scholars in the ancient Theravada tradition were referring, some scholars of the ancient Theravada tradition were referring to this change. But ironically what happens in the uh, uh, in the Visuddhi uh, Magga uh, Visuddhi Magga Mahatika, book number two, uh, shall give you the reference. If you could pardon me for a few minutes. Mm. In the Kanda Nidesa, Rupa Kanda Kata, page number 86. Page number 86, we find a slightly different explanation. Virodhi uh, Pache Sannipati It's one word The gathering of uh, op adverse or opposite conditions Jo Attanes Attano Santani Attano Santane Bini Bijamana Se Bini Bijamana Seva Visadisu Patti Hetuba So there's a hue now. Surely there should be a printing mistake either here or here. Instead of, uh, sorry, not here, here, Vijamana. Now you can see the difference for the, for the ones who are not familiar with Pali. I shall show you the difference. The difference is in one book it says Vijamana, other says Bijamana. So all are all these letters are similar. Only the difference is V and B. V and B, and they are giving a completely different meaning. Bijamana means the rupa which is passing away, the continuous form which is passing away. Bijamana is which is existing. Completely different opposite meanings are given. Now, if you translate it, I'm not sure how to how to confirm which one is correct, but it seems seems both can be applied. So here the change which happens within the Rupa which is existing, right? Virodhi Pache Sanipate in the gathering of different opposite conditions. Yo Attano Santane Binne. Now this is the problem. Attano Santane Binne. So when its own body has been broken, Binne. Visadisuppatti Hetu Bhavo. Atano Santane Binne Visadisupati. Arising of different Rupas when the conditions have, when the reality has passed away. Bijamana Seva Hetu Bhavo. So, according to this explanation, 
is a, is a very complicated sentence. It's a very complicated sentence. We, I cannot come into a conclusion without uh, exactly knowing what is the correct version of the sentence. So according to this, as I translate, this would be now rupa is arising and passing away. New rupas, while the new rupa happens in a different manner, different manner, this change is obvious when this rupa has passed away. But the cause, this the cause of this new arising was found even while the rupa was passing away. Now the thing was the change already occurred in it. The change already occurred in it. So that change was found even in, in the reality which was passing away. And that change causes for the new rupas to happen in a different way. In the end, they are referring to the same thing. Even here, what happens? The rupa which was struck by some other rupas, a slight change occurred while it was existing and it is the reason for the new rupas to happen differently. So it seems both are referring to the same, same idea, but there is a huge difference in the, in the wordings. Why did, I, why did I come into this conclusion about this sentence? Because if you know Pali, you can have various ways to interpret this sentence. It's various ways to interpret this sentence. And it doesn't make sense even to so ones who know Pali. Santane binne binnama bijabana. Santane binne means the body, the rupa has already passed away. Has already passed away. Binne means it's a past participle. Then bijabana is a visadi suppati. So you, after it has passed away, bijabana means the thing which is passing, all, at the moment which is passing. So it doesn't make sense to say that the body has passed away, the rupa has passed away, at the same time it is passing away. It doesn't make sense. So that's why we go into the explanation. This change happens after the rupa has passed away, but that, that cause, cause for the change was seen while the rupa was passing away. That's, that's how I get the meaning. I try to uh, bring it to some, some, some sort of a meaning according to my, my understanding. So the rupa has passed away. When the rupa has passed away, different rupas would occur. And the reason for that occurring, different occurring, was found while the rupa was is being is being passing. It was was passing away while it was still present. So why did I come into this conclusion? Because this explanation, bijati, according to Lady Sayadu and according to Mulatika, they are clearly emphasizing the word bijati, passing away, indicates that. There's going, it is, it is the reason, it is the reason for the change in the generation. So Muratika clearly mentions, Muratika clearly mentions the Beda, the passing away is the reason for the arising of new Rupas in a different manner. So somehow to me, it's not very clear to me why is, I, I, I may say a suggestion, this, this is why they have come to that conclusion. It's not very clear to me, but somehow they have made a connection between the change and the passing away. Passing away of the previous rupa and the new change which is occurring in the generation. They have made a connection. So that led me to come into this translation to, uh, to explain this idea. Now the change happens after the rupa has passed away, but the reason for that change was seen while the rupa is passing away. So anyway, both these explanations, it seems like both the explanations it's obvious that there is a printing mistake. There is a printing mistake uh, in the version that we have today in the, in the Chatta Sangha. Right? If you go into the original books which are preserved in Kabai in Myanmar, you'll surely be able to get a good, uh, good reading. And also if you are able to get the versions in Myanmar, because Myanmar have a lot of printings uh, from that uh, Chatta Sangha version, you'll be able to get a proper reading. And I prefer uh, the ones who are in Myanmar especially Siali, and if you can uh, find a, uh, give a suggestion about which one is more accurate, having discussed with Seados. So then, uh, but both the explanations are referring to a Hetu Bhava. Hetu Bhava means a reason for the change. Hetu Bhava, reason, for what? Visadisa Rupa Patti, for the arising of different Rupas. 
and this is considered as idea of some scholars idea of some scholars now this is getting much complicated now now according to commentaries the difference in the generation when the when adverse conditions have gathered when adverse conditions have gathered different rupas happen to occur different rupas happen to occur but the sub commentators say that some scholars held to the idea the some scholars held to the idea that change is that change the reason for that change was seen in the kalapa itself was seen in the kalapa itself so the commentary was explaining mostly on the mostly on the uh, change which happens in generations so these scholars emphasized that there is a slight change while the rupa has struck so that's why we come into the second type of change which is happening within the kalap it seems like lady sadhu and mulatika were referring to this idea held by the scholar they were preferring this idea they also accept the idea that the generational change is happening but at the same time there is a change which is happening in the kalapa itself which is happening in the kalapa itself then we go into another explanation uh, according to this according to this definition of rupa should be rupa yati ti rupa rupa yati ti apadeti which causes the change not rupati rupati means that which undergoes the change which is which is undergoing the change which is change is happening to itself according to this explanation the previous rupa causes previous rupa is the reason for the next rupa to happen in a different manner so it's causing it apadeti it's causing for the change it's causing for a change so uh so therefore it shows it's a different definition according to that according to that but lady sayar and mulatika goes to the rupati definition but it seems like they they are related to this they are somewhat related to this explanation given by the kechi but they do go they do not go into the um, they do not go into the uh, level that to define it differently they would say rupati tirupang but they are explaining it's somewhat similar to this explanation maybe my explanation is not that much accurate because we found it found some uh, uh, differences one reason was some differences within the within the uh, scriptures and also uh, i couldn't go into any uh, discussion on this this is some how i look into this problem maybe there are some inaccuracies as well then we come into a, another explanation some scholars used to say that's diganikaya sub commentary mentions yeah sangita sutta the same place it is found that sangattanena vikara patyam rupana saddho nirul nirul hoti keji sangattanena vikara patyam sangattanena vikara patyam is the rupana so according to some scholars they clearly emphasize that rupana the change has to happen the meaning of rupana is something which is happening due to a contact due to contact mulatika clearly emphasize this point it says yes rupana has to be something due to a contact so the idea of rupana is there because of due to a, due to a contact so therefore is another idea held by the scholars it seems like uh, lady sadhu and mulatika have referred to this idea have referred to this idea so these are the points that i would like to discuss there were uh, i for some it may be too much theoretical but for some it would have been quite interesting then go into the handout i think i have explained this in detail 2.130 till now uh, just some scholarly arguments 2.130 Buddha explained the nature of rupana based on the adverse changes that happened to the rupa. If you look into the Kajjaniya Sutta, you find uh, all the changes were not very conducive. 
Sita in a Pirupati, Unne in a Pirupati. He was mentioning how the Rupa changes due to adverse conditions. But the commentators have suggested it should be kept in mind that changes that can that are conducive to the Rupa are also termed as Rupana. That is also a widely held idea in the Theravadians. Not only the adverse changes, but also conducive changes. That one of the that uh, that is that that is one of the notions based on which uh, one of the notions based on which the corporeal elements found in Brahma realm are called Rupa despite the absence of ad adverse physical conditions. Be because when looking into the Sutra, we see a change which is happening due to uh, unconducive uh, co conditions met with uh, some some adverse uh, realities, but. In Brahma Loka also, we find a subtle Rupa. They are not discussed about Deva Loka. I don't know whether the reason was. Uh, in Brahma Loka, how do we call their Rupa, how do we call their matter Rupa if there is no such adverse conditions in the Deva, in the Brahma realm? So the explanation, one of the explanations is they, they still do not go beyond the nature of Rupa. They are similar, even though they don't have just con such contact, they are similar. They could have changed if adverse conditions were met. And the next explanation is, even while meeting conducive conditions, some change happens in their bodies. So it's to the positive side. So still, whatever change, the bad or the good side, still, uh, if something changes, physically changes, that is something called Rupa. Anubhudipani justifies the notion saying that though the Buddha has defined Rupana based on examples of changes adverse to the Rupa, it is also correct to call whatever change in the generation of Rupas as Rupana. That is how Anubhudipani states. Then Paramatha Dipani elaborates this notion as follows. Uh, this Rupana can be seen not during the destruction, or not only while the generation is changing or uh, breaking down, even at the growth, especially when the world is being created, at the beginning of the eon, uh, we see lots of changes within the world and also at the destruction of the uh, universe, of the world, we see changes. So, growth and decaying and passing away, all are found in uh, the Rupas, in, 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 uh, can be found, uh, whatever change that is found in Rupa should be considered as Rupana. We are not talking about the natural passing away. We are not talking about the natural passing away, a, a change which happens in the generation. So in that sense, generational change is more <coughs> vital and more prominent. And also such changes can be seen during the cycle of, uh, cycle of seasons, winter, uh, summer and so forth. You can see how trees and the bodies of the beings change. Then uh, Paramatha Deepani extends the range of Rupana even to the changes that occur while changing postures. Even while we are changing our postures, according to the Theravada tradition, slight changes happen within us. Rupa, it's not slight actually, uh, obvious changes happen within us. So even that should be considered as Rupana according to Venerable Lady Sayadaw, especially during the psychic powers. Now, there is a psychic called Vikubbhana Iddi. I have given you in the, in the text, in the handout. Vikubbhana means, in Sanskrit we call Vikurvana. Uh, we are making, we are transforming our body into a different figure. A monk appears like an elephant, for example. A monk appears like a, like a divine being. So, Buddha has actually, the Buddha has prohibited this. Buddha has prohibited this act with, Vinaya, with a Vinaya rule. But it is possible, such, such uh, transformations are possible with regard to, uh, to of, of, of the person who, of the body of the person who o o possesses these psychic powers. Uh, so that is also sort of a rupana. But that rupana is mainly due to mind. It is obviously not due to any contact with physical, physical stuff. So that is why I mentioned in the end, in the, yesterday I mentioned about this, rupana was originally discussed about was initiated with the change that happens due to the contact of some other physical stuff. But Paramatha Deepani extends this to the level of changing of postures and also the changes which occur in the Rupa due to the uh, exercising of psychic powers, uh, especially the Vikurvanai. And also we can say while you are floating, the body is getting lighter as, as change happens. These two types of changes, mainly the postures and the psychic changes, are mainly due to the, uh, are caused by the mind, are caused by 
mind. Yeah, why the Vikubbana Iddi was prevented? Because I think it, it leads to a lot of confusion. It leads to a lot of confusion and it can lead to uh, degrade the respect towards the monks. Because for example, think that if, if, if I appear thumbs like a tiger or a lion or a appear uh, or elephant or whatever creature, so there is a huge problem in paying the respect, right? So, so if monks were allowed to do that, there is a possibility that some monks at the in future, uh, after the Buddha has passed away, uh, may be, they may appear in different forms and people may accuse on them or accuse them or there can be a lot of, lot of misunderstandings that they may call this uh, animal or insult it, but in the end they have insulted the person with high qualities. Maybe that was the reason that there, it's a huge problem uh, for, for, for the uh, proper communication between devotees and, and monks and also within the monks even there, there can be huge problems. But, it sh uh, but there are two stories in which monks used to do that. Venerable Moggallana, while he was taming the great Nandopananda, the Naga king, he transformed into a form of a gurula. Uh, maybe that happened uh, before the rule was promulgated. So if there was no rule, monks were not that much hesitant to do things. Even monks used to go for Pindapath afternoon, afternoon before the rule was, uh, rule was uh, uh, enacted. Uh, and also the Sumana Samanera, the young Samanera, while he was taming another Naga, according to the story, he came into the appearance of a Brahma and also pressed the Naga's uh, hood and took the water and went away. So there are two incidences, to my knowledge, that the monks have changed their appearance. Uh, other psychic powers are allowed. There, there in Vinaya you can see, uh, Buddha asked, if my memory was correct, when was Sagata, to perform the psychic powers in order to increase the faith of the devotees. So while the devotees were there, he said, yes, you can you go and do some psychic powers, show them some psychic abilities to increase their faith. He directly says this. And uh, he did it. And the peoples were ama people were amazed. And in the end, he paid respect to the Buddha and they were... They, they, had a, they had much respect to the Buddha, seeing, thinking that if, 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 if the Savaka has such abilities, what sort of ability the, uh, the teacher, the, the master would have. So not all psychics are prohibited, only the psychic of transforming yourself, in uh, your appearance into another form is prohibited. That is only for monks, right? Only for monks. Uh, question can, uh, that can be raised is Rupana only seen in corporeality. So the definition was based on change. So, is only corporeality, uh, is, is Rupana is happening only in corporeality because we know the mentalities also do change. So, due to weather conditions, due to certain incidents, our minds change. We can see huge transformations. If someone suddenly come and hit us, surely our <laughs> mind would uh, come into a different state. This, this is sort of a Rupana, this is sort of a change is happening. But it's not called the Rupana, it's, it's, though it's a change, Due to two reasons. One reason is, according to some scholars, Rupana has to be something, a change due to a contact. Due to a contact. Sangattana. Sangattanena vikarapatya. So it's, it has to be, there should be some contact. So according to them, Namas, even they gather in millions, they would not create, they, are, they would not be, never be extended reality that is liable to contact. So there cannot be any Rupana in them because Rupana has to be a change due to contact. The next reason is even though they undergo change, another explanation, even though they undergo, they undergo change, that is not very much obvious. But if something happens to our body, we don't need to say it. Anyone would know it. We just try to cover it at least But it's because it's obvious to anyone who, who has eyes. But sometimes even our minds are different. We may try to pretend and we may, sometimes we will be very successful in pretending to be happy while we are sad or uh, to be sad while we are happy, to show uh, show some anger while we are not actually angry within ourselves. So likewise, uh, the mind is not that much disguised, it is not much uh, obvious to others. So unless if you possess the ability to read their minds. So therefore, the changes which is happening in the mind are not very obvious. Therefore, uh, the term rupa, term, term, term rupana doesn't apply to the namas. And also there is a discussion about how the anipana rupa still fit the, fit the definition because they do not get any striking. 
so uh, the explanations given in Paramatta Dipani that uh, when the when the uh, so Sukumarupa, sorry, not Tanipana, Sukumarupas, uh, when the gross matter undergo change, even the Sukumarupas follow them, so they also fit to be called Rupa. Then another two definitions to conclude the lecture, 2.113, another two definitions. Rupayati iti rupa. Here rupayati means, the word rupayati means manifest themselves. Rupa manifests themselves. So it's very obvious if sound or smell or color, hardness, just by some physical sensations, even, even using the five senses, most of the time we will be able to know these rupas, especially the gross rupas. And with the help of the gross rupas, some other subtle rupas may also be known. So the rupas manifest themselves. So if something happens to our body, we don't, if, if we cut ourselves, cut our hand or leg, we don't need to say it to others, we can, they, can, they can obviously see the change. If something happens to the color of your skin, or, or uh, something happens to the something happens to your body or something have been when you uh, when you when you get older or when you have put on fat uh, put on some weight it's obvious to everyone they can see that, that there's a there's a there's a huge change has happened but mental changes men, mentalities cannot be seen so even while we are sitting next to each other we don't know what, what the other person is thinking. Maybe he's thinking bad about us while talking very well. So unless we possess the ability to read our minds, we're not able to exactly say. We just make guesses only. And also seeing the physical appearances, we may try to figure out. So Rupa is very obvious. It manifests by itself. Even though we try to say no, it's obvious. Uh, but uh, mind is sort of has a sort of a different nature. So therefore, rupa, the realities that manifest by themselves are called rupa. The definition is rupayati. Rupayati ti rupa. But mentalities have to be known, have been listened to, what, the, uh, what others say. Now, for example, most of the cases, if I, if you want to know my mindset, I have to express who I am or what my mind is and so forth. But the rupa can be obviously uh, known even without a discussion. So that's why namas do are not called rupa because they do not manifest by themselves. Then Veraman and Venerable Redukani Chandivana Mahatero has furnished us with another definition of rupa. So according to him, final definition, uh, anything such as trees or whatever whatever physical thing which has a shape or and a weight are called rupa. These are called rupa. But when we investigate, we know that these rupa, these these things are made out of some some kalapas. And this kalapa is also made out of eight types of rupa at least. Right? Each kalapa is made out of eight rupas. So in the end, According to Theravada tradition, all this stuff we see in the physical world are made out of subtle qualities, subtle uh, realities. So the thing is, the definition is, uh, yeah, so one rupa has at least eight matter, uh, kalapa has eight matter. So definition is, the term rupa is conventionally used to the things that we see in the physical world and their ingredients, what they are made out of, can also be given the term rupa uh, grammatically. So uh, the, the stuff that, that they are made out of is also called rupa. The stuff that is made out of, uh, the stuff that rupa is made out of are also called rupa. So there's the third definition. So we have three definitions, rupa titi rupa, rupa titi rupa and elements of rupa the ingredients which rupa is made out of. Uh, so that was that would be our lecture. And also there is another definition held by some scholars, rupa etiti rupa, causing the, the thing that causes the change. So that was a, I think it's a long uh, lecture with some uh, more technical explanations. Anyway, uh, so the thing with the, 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 the 
message that I want to give with this explanation, with this lecture is, uh, there are few explanations how Rupa has been defined within the tradition, which are quite interesting. And normally, according to some scholars, this change, there are three types of changes, change within the generation, sorry, change within the generation, change within a kalapa after striking, and also interunitary change, which we didn't discuss today. So a change which happens within the kalapa, and also change which happens in the, uh, in the generation. So the commentators talk about this generational change due to the gathering of, kala, uh, gathering of certain conditions. And uh, we sh it has to be very clear, it's not a transformation of the same rupa into another form, it's how the change happens during the generation. During the generation is prevailing, the newly arising rupas are quite different. Then the definition is taken, rupa, rupana is taken from kubbati, gatti, eti, pili, eti and bijjati. So, so according to some scholars, this change has to happen, this change needs some striking, this change needs some striking and uh, a change within the kalapa occurs and also as a result the generation changes. So we can find two explanations like uh, sentences found in different with, with some printing uh, spelling mistakes uh, in Diganikaya Tika and Visuddhimagga Tika but both of them refer to the same idea as I understand. And uh, there were uh, some scholars who held the idea that rup Rupana has to be something due to a contact. And there was uh, also a lady who extended the uh, range of Rupana into, and also we can see it's not only the di adverse changes, but also conducive changes are also <laughs> applicable to the word Rupana. And then Lady Siadu have extended this rupana into the changes which occurred while we are changing our postures and also performing psychic ability, psychic powers. The word rupana is actually applicable only to the rupas, not to the namas, for two reasons. Because namas doesn't come into any contact and also the change in nama is not very obvious like rupa, as it is of rupa. Then uh, two other definitions, one can be found in the mulatika, rupa eti rupa, the rupa, the Things that get man, the things that manifest by them, manifest themselves, is called rupa, and also uh, the elements uh, out of which the conventional rupas, the material stuff, are made out of. As Venerable Rukani Chandavir Mahatera puts us the definition. So this will be the explanation. So all these suggest that rupa is something that changes, and also. Uh, rupa is made out of particles, made, not particles, made, the, the things that we experience are made out of certain elements. It's not a one thing, and it also undergoes change, it shows the impermanence as well. When something is constituted with various elements, it shows that uh, there is no something called I or singular, singularity in this existence. Yeah, that would be the explanation. So I open the Q&A session. Thank you, Bhante. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello everyone, as usual, if you have any question, you can raise your hand or put your question in the chat box and we can help you read them out. Um, hi, Pante. So, um, okay, I have a number of questions. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> so the first one is about those two uh, um, explanations in the Dika, so the Dika Dika and Yes. So you said that there should be, there might be a printing mistake. Mm -hmm. So according to what you're saying is that it's either beta mana or weta mana, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then according, when I look into those ten, two sentences, I, I see one thing different, which is the word bene. Yeah. Right? Because also there is a word bene in there, and it makes that santane bene as the lakana. Yeah. Mm. Right? Yeah. But then in the previous sentence, there is no bene. So from when I look into that, it looks to me it's just a normal locative case. Yeah. So then, then here it refers to two different things. Yeah, that was that was the initial uh, idea that we normally get. But if you look into the structure of the two sentences, two paragraphs, they are identical. So they were explaining something uh, very similar and also we need to keep in mind that uh, according to the tradition, the same author was writing both the Mahatika and the Dhammapala. 
So, uh, as you said, this was the real uh, confusion. I, I had a long discussion with the uh, Venerable Vijita Ananda also with, also about, about this matter. So, it shows that, uh, as you said, this is a lakana. This is a normal locative case. So, how do we match them? Now, vijjamana, vijjamana, just leave it apart. Atano santane vijjamanas. So, if we bring vijjamana here, for example, Atano santane vijjamanas. So, uh, that is passing away in the santana. In the santana. So, in that sense, uh, santana is something, the entire thing, the rupas within them are the rupas which are passing in that santana. So, according to this, the rupa itself have passed away. Santane bhinne bijjamana seva. Or either, only way to compare them is that here, I also discussed this point, but now take the santana as the thing. So, santane bhinne means it has undergone a change. It's a conventional thing. If we take the rupa as santana, santane bhinne means it has already passed with no more. It's no more there. So, sometimes santane bhinne means the santana has undergone a change. So, the rupa that he is uh, passing away. So, santane bhinne means the santana is changing. So, during this santana, the rupas that are passing away. So, here also in that sense, if you take it bijjamana, within the santana, the rupas that are passing away. Within the santana, rupas that are passing away. So, the bina indicates that a change has happened within the santana. It's, a, it's something, I, I feel like it's going something extra mile to explain that. So, then we can come into another explanation. How do we, if we put vijja here, santane binne vijjamanas. So, when the previous rupas have passed away, this existing change happens in the existing rupas. So, we find no problem here if we put the vijjamana only. So, in the santana, realities that are existing. The change happens in the reality that are existing within a santana. It's a very simple sentence. As you said, Dr. Ryan, uh, it seems like they are fully, they are, they are different sentences, very difficult to bring them into one idea. But if you look into the paragraphs, if you look into the paragraphs, the initial sense that comes is, it's a repetition. It's the same paragraphs has been repeated in two places. Both are kechi and both indicates, give the definition of the commentaries. Both indicates, uh, some says the contact is necessary. Both indicates according to these explanations, the definition should be rupayati. All are same ex and also the, even the, both the sentences are similar except few changes. We have additional binne and instead of v, we have b. So that's why I mentioned that my instinct was this should be something of a printing mistake. So there can be two options. Either both of them have to be in the same meaning in what one way or another, which is not very clear to us. And V and B have changed. The other way is, here Binna is missing. Here Binna is missing and V and B are, have changed. That's how I feel uh, about this change. Yes, please. Um. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's based on what you're explaining, so I, I have to, to, to read the whole thing in order to see it. Okay. Um, but my initial thought is that uh, in, in the in the uh, Ika, mm -hmm. then the uh, the um, Santana and the Vichamana refers to the same Rupa, but in the Visuddhi Gamaha Tika, those are two different Rupas. Mm -hmm. The Santana is a different rupa and the Vichyamana is a different rupa. So it's like uh, Santana, Santana means the thing, right? Santane Vijamanas. So rupa within the yes. Santana, right? Yes. Right? So here you are referring yes. Santane Binne means one rupa has passed away. 
and this is the bijamana rupa yes so this is already passed away is no more but this is already passing away rupa right yes yes so change has happened here yes so the question that comes is why did was this was what is the use of this even i tried this experiment no. uh, yeah yeah please Yes, yes, because what you said, but I think we, here we're talking about the cause, right? Mm -hmm. So here it says that the change in the, the, the new rupa, because of the, the, the cause is because of the, the rupa that already passed away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, according to this, the Hetu Babu, Hetu, is seen in a rupa which is passing away. Or either if you say this is we, it makes sense. When the rupa has passed away, a change is seen in another rupa, a now new rupa, which is existing, not passing away. If we say it bijamana, why the thing that question that I have to ask is why he used the word bijamana while it is passing away? What is the what is the use of bringing that passing away quality into the new rupa? Okay. Okay. That, that, yeah, no, it just, yeah. that, that is, uh, that's my initial thought. So, yes. Yeah, meaning to cause, uh, the, you know, of course, but then you, you've been thinking about this. <laughs> deeply, yeah. Please, so yeah. you have more insight in there. So, yeah, so of course, I have to look into the, the whole, yes. the whole uh, context. Yes. Yes. Yeah, please uh, look uh, into that. It's it's a very nice. Uh, uh, I discussed with uh, Venerable Vijayananda also, and I had, I had thought some few, few ways because I've been uh, dealing with this now for some time, uh, oh. for some uh, few days. Now, uh, due to this, uh, so as you said, there are a few, few questions to my understanding. Why, if, if this is the rupa that already passed away, why the new rupa is passing away? Why they bring that vijjamana? So, if they bring vijjamana, yes, it makes some sense. But still, what happens? Visadisa rupa ti hetu bhavo, the cause for the change is found in this rupa. Is found in this rupa. So change will happen here. Change is going to happen in the next next rupa. This is the cause. Then the question comes: What is the use of this rupa? It's another way to think, yeah. right? So okay. then, if you bring this as it is, as you said, santana is there. Vijamana rupa is existing. Change has occurred which causes for the new rupas to happen. This is the very simple sentence. This is a very simple right. sentence. But the thing I was really, sh I got really confused. I didn't have, this, have the confidence was when I saw this word binna. So binna completely jeopardized my idea, my, my understanding about this. If we find only this sentence without this, it's very obvious. It's a change that is happening in a rupa, in a santana. So it's similar to the change which is happening in the kalapa, while it is existing. But when this binna was found, santani binni, and also bija here, bija manasa here, it it gave me lot of lot of lot of troubles. Nice. Yeah. Please go through it. Please go through it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then I guess the main question is because okay again so we're discussing this, but then the, the, this opinion is of KT. KT, so yes. What is the opinion of the teacher, Pandey? Uh, opinion of the teacher is Dr. Ryan. Uh, the commentary, uh, normal commentary. Sito tadi virudha pachche visudh supatti. This is the teacher's opinion. This is the teacher's opinion. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, please go through with the, both the paragraphs. It's quite interesting. Yeah. I see. Okay, thank you, Pante. Okay. Um, and then also the, the next question, Pante, about the uh, Vikopaniti. Yeah. Right? So Vikopaniti, you said that during that, that um, Abhinya, then um, there is the change in Rupa according to the mind, right? So. What about the Kamacha Rupa Pante? So does that mean during that change all the Kamacha Rupa is going to change as well? 
the appearance would change, I feel, not the rupas. It's a very good question. Uh, but, but <laughs> the structure, so, so the structure example, has to change, right? <laughs> structure has to change. Yes. So, so for example, let's say a, uh, of course, it's a man, but then I mean, okay, so maybe not do that, but uh, who knows? You know, he change, he, he change himself into, yeah. let's say, a female lion. Yeah. Oh. So that means the <laughs> oh. has to change. Uh, then. I don't think the Bava will be the same. Bava would be same. Uh, even because it's just an appearance. I think Bava, <laughs> Bava cannot change. It's a very good question. Bava cannot change even the appearance is changed. Uh, I don't think the Bava, <laughs> Bava would change because of the, because of the Vikubbanaidi. Another question now, now, if I become an elephant, for example, so my eyes have to be my chakku inya prasada was here already and now later it is something above right because I, I should be much taller than this if I am an elephant so the location of the prasadas and how this may be the size I don't know how how there it, it's a very nice uh, question to be to be uh, given given some thought uh, I personally feel uh, no trans Baba cannot change <laughs> according to the main, main, uh, the information, the knowledge that I have. Uh, but uh, as you said, there is a huge change. But uh, then a question I haven't thought about this: uh, how the distribution of Kamajrupas? Does the Kamajrupa number increases uh, after after I become an elephant? Can I can I now if 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 it is can it be distributed the same amount of Kamajrupa that I have in my body? If I become a huge elephant, is it, is it distributed in the entire body equally, or how how does this happen? Yeah, it's something something uh, very very strange. Can can the Vikubbana person feel the touch? If so, if someone touches it, can you can it feel it? It seems like because uh, during the fight uh, there was there was some torment and was happening uh, of Nando and uh, Mugalana. Uh, yeah. Seems a very tough question <laughs> to think. Okay, thank you, Pante. Okay, right. And the last question is, uh, Pante, um, so we know that so, so Rupa is going to change, right? For for the Nama, for the Chitta, then we have the rule for it. We call the Chitta Niyama. Right. But what about the Rupa? There is a rule for it, Pante? Uh, no. I don't think, not like Chitta. But it's, it, there are some rules about uh, in, in the human realm uh, when the chakku arises, sota arises, there is sort of such, such something, some sort of a rule is there. And we will study if, when we come into the uh, chapter of uh, Uttuja Rupa and Aharaja Rupas and also, yeah, Kamaja Chittada Uttuja Aharajas, uh, that uh, for instance, uh, now. Uttuja Rupas occurring from Kamaja Rupas, how, how long the generation would be. Some sort of, some rules were there, are there about the Rupa, but not in the way that the Chitta has been explained. Not in such detail, not in such an organized way. I see. I it's, see. It, there so are, there are, event, yeah, yes. please, please. Eventually, eventually it has to be uh, put in the Dhammani Yama, right? Yes, yes, yes. All the, according to Lady Seado, Dr. Ryan, any phenomenon that does not fit, fit into Uttuniyama, Chittaniyama, Bija and Kamma should fall into Dhammani Yama. Any, even the phenomenon of Paticca Samupada, even the phenomenon of 24 Pachyas, except the parts that fit to other Niyamas, all should be go, should go into Dhammani Yama. I see. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And, and Uttuniyama and Bijaniyama are exclusively uh, Rupa, related Rupa. Uttuniyama is how the world cycle is happening. Uh, Bijaniyama is specifically uh, how the trees, uh, the Rupa in trees, uh, plants and trees. Uh, other than that, uh, Chitta and Kam. Kammaniyama also has some, how Kamma affects the Rupas. Some Rupas have been explained. Other than that, uh, what we are going to discuss in future about the process of Rupa all goes into Dhammaniya. I see. Thank you, Pandit Sarasana. Uh, please go ahead, Sanjali Punya. 
Oh, so yes, good morning, my name. Good morning. So regarding the Ryan's question, so I remember, I think uh, uh, one month ago, I, I watched one recording from a professor who was specialized in the genetic sequencing. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, like, uh, according to our engineering system, the dog and, and the human being, so 80, 80 or 85% of the gene system are the same. Mm, 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 mm. So he, he also gave an opinion like that. Even we see many animals, we are, we are quite different according to our size or like elephants or tiger or something. Looks like we are very completely different, different. But according to their research, actually our gene most are the same. Mm, 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 like, like a monkey. <laughs> right, 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 right. Maybe that's that's the, that's that's one of the reasons that they bring the theory of evolution, right? They yeah. want to say the same ancestor. Yes, and uh, as according to the according to the Buddhist teachings, even there are slight changes in rupas of of animals. But uh, uh, so you mean like uh, even in the Vikubana the case, right? You mean you yeah, you are referring to? Yeah, because according to their research, you say that you know, like the elephants and us, we <laughs> are you see, according to size, completely different, right? But according to their research, the gene system actually most are the same, not so big difference. So if I ask, uh, if I put this question like this, now while a monk has changed his appearance into a into a into a different form, Buddhist. Does it mean that his cells are also changing into animal cells? Is it? Yeah, but the gene system, like maybe like a, uh, according to what kind of animal, right? Right. As uh, that research said, like a monkey and the dogs. Mm -hmm. So ah, they are they are very similar. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More the similar. So you mean that it is possible? So as the similarity yeah. is there, with the same, it's with a slight difference, with the same yeah. body, with the same 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 genes. We can still change into a different appearance. That's what you yes. mean, right? Okay, okay, right. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, yeah. So, okay, my next question is: uh, in the two point one thirty. Mm -hmm. So, there is you translate the word "gappa santane." Right. So you translate "its end." So santane, I think mean, it is in the existence moment, in the existing moment. Not in the end. Kappa Santani. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sang, not Sangvatta, right? Santa. I read it yeah. as sang, Sangvatti. Sorry for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I also checked the, the, the name of today. It is a PC. That means existing. Santana, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for pointing this. I read it as Sangvatta. I was, I was like quite careless on that. Because it says... If we just at the end, mm. but in, in the beginning of the growth and the beaking, beaking mm. moment, right? Mm -hmm. so, but then it becomes like the beginning and the end. Yes, 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 yes. So it, it's not... Yes, that's true. Because I, I, I got this idea, Apichetta. So Apicha means another me, another explanation apicha etta here rupanang the change is twofold duvidang buddhanang buddhang baddhanang haniyanche growth and decaying tadubayampi yeah. both can be seen kappa vuttani in the origin of the kappa kappa santani mm. while the kappa is being kappa is existing i think yeah yes mm. i got confused because of buddhanang buddhi and hani i thought kappa vuttana and kappa Sangvatta. That's the confusion I had. I read it as Sangvatta because my mind was uh, predetermining <laughs> what would be based on Hani. Yeah. Right. Thank you for that. Yeah, pointing out. We'll correct it. Because this word, I couldn't hear later what did you say because mm -hmm. I was thinking, how can this word translate mm -hmm. the end? <laughs> Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your sharp attention. And also, please uh, try to find that uh, difference. Okay, that, okay. Yeah, if I'm you have. Sure. Yeah, please. Thank you, Bani. Okay, sir. Um, I think, yes, yeah, sorry, 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 Pante. Uh, there is no more question, Pante, and I think what the time is yes, up, Pante. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, the, we'll call it a day. And next week, we are going to discuss about the lifespan of Rupa.
It's also quite interesting. Three explanations can be found within the Theravada itself. Three explanations with two hours slightly with different uh, characteristics even. Explanation given in the ancient commentaries, the Pali commentaries which was written by Venerable Buddha Gosa and also the sub-commentator Ananda that is Mulatika. So we can find three different lifespans and they are giving some, having some arguments about this. It will be quite interesting. But in the end you find that Rupa is momentary, that's the, that's the, uh, the takeaway message and we'll, we'll look into that next Saturday. So thank you for joining and uh, wish you all the best and with this merit may you be all, all of be able to attain the greatest bliss nirvana and we may this help to for the sustaining of the buddha sasana buddha sasana chirantittatu buddha sasana chirantittatu buddha sasana chirantittatu sadhu sadhu sadhu